Hi, I'm Tyler, K-A-0-K-A. I wanted to do a comparison video between the James Millen 92200 Transmatch and the newer Palstar AT5K Transmatch. And what the differences are between them and what the similarities are. So we'll start with the James Millen 92200 Transmatch. Uh, it uses uh, a fixed uh, tapped roller inductor uh, with the parallel condenser. Actually, this is a dual capacitor and a series capacitor on the output. It's a uh, unbalanced antenna tuner. The later models, about 500 and up, they added a secondary band setting here for four megacycles. It has a SWR reflectometer here uh, for just getting relative SWR measurements. If you look at the size of the components, this is uh, the series condenser on the output, which is rated at 9 kV. Uh, this dual capacitor that's in parallel with the switched or tapped roller inductor is rated at 6 kV. It also has a RF sensing coil attached to the back SO239 for hookup with an oscilloscope or any, anything else that's uh, pretty handy. And if we look at the Palstar AT5K, the Palstar AT5K consists of uh, 500 picofarad 5 kVA air variables and along with a well it's a it's a roller inductor I believe it's 26 microhenry 11 amp and this uh, roller inductor has a interesting compound which I just put back on a silicone graphite lubrication uh, that uh, carries the current as the roller goes back and forth the Palstar, of course, will cover 160 meters uh, through uh, 10. However, I also modified this one and put a large four-core one-to-one Teflon wound input ballon on it uh, in, in replacement of what was there uh, to get better uh, balanced output uh, operation for the balanced, uh, balanced terminals which I use and works quite well. The James Millen uh, will not cover 160 meters. That really was not a, a feasible uh, operation when it was built. So that's the idea behind that. But again, very, uh, very nice. The switchable or the, the fixed tapped roller inductor in the James Millen uh, the wire is about 50% larger than in the Palstar, so uh, they're physically about the same size other than the wire being actually larger. So all in all, the James Millen is uh, quite, uh, quite a nice box. And I just picked this one up and hope to go through it here and do a couple repairs. So here's the back side of the James Millen. and the back side of the AT5K. All in all, very nice. Both units are, are uh, quite, uh, quite well done. Little, little, little something going on. All right. In additional videos, uh, I'll be demonstrating the OM4000 uh, a lot more on the Anon 8000 there, uh, the DJ controller for analog signaling or the feel of analog signaling, and uh, a lot more on uh, how to use the oscilloscope to uh, actually gauge in uh, uh, tuning your signal on both AM and sideband uh, so that you know that your system is in fact nice and linear.
Okay, well, that video has ended. However, I've been working on a whole collection of different signals and anomalies that are occurring right now throughout the HF spectrum. Some of these signals you simply will not believe. So, we'll be posting these shortly. We'll have analysis of each, and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Stay tuned.